Seems like everyone is either running for president or thinking about it. Are you thinking about it, Ed? Not at all. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> Although last night while I was out campaigning, a uh, person said that I should. Well, now wait a minute. You were out campaigning, but you're not running? I'm not running for president. You're talking oh, about yet. president now? Not yet, anyway. That's correct. Okay, not at this time. Not at this time. Have you completely ruled it out? Yes. <laughs> That's not I'm, really... I'm too young. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> yeah, well, your youth and inexperience, you know, that'll catch up with you. Uh, there are a lot of people who are thinking about it, though. Yes, um, there are. On both sides of the aisle. And it's, some of those names are just shocking. Who's your favorite? Uh, who's my favorite shocking name? Yes. Oh, Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush. Oh, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, it, it reminds me of uh, Jesse Jackson <laughs> and his line, get out the bushes. <laughs> How many bushes do we need? I don't know, but I, I have way too many bushes. <laughs> well, John Boehner likes Jeb Bush because he's, quote, normal. Really? That's what I heard him say. Wow. What well, do you think uh, the field looks like? Give, throw some names wow. and some... some uh, uh, well, there's so many names right now, but... But, you know, some of the favorites, at least from the conservative standpoint, are Ted Cruz. And uh, some people like... Uh, oh, you mean the King Wacko out of Texas? <laughs> out of yeah. Wa or No, it's Waco, Texas. <laughs> it's, it's not it's Wacko, <laughs> Texas. What, what am I thinking? Yeah, but, but Ted is a favorite of the conservatives, of course. Ted is a remarkable <clears throat> statesman. <clears throat> yes, and he's he somebody who will openly s tell people that I didn't go to Washington, D.C., to serve the establishment, I went to serve the people and my country. Uh, what a remarkable and refreshing attitude. Absolutely. But, you know, then there's the other side of the spectrum. The uh, the litany of losers is what I call them. You know, that started back with Dole and, and went he, to... Is me. he running again? No, I don't think so, or but still? he might. Okay. I mean, Bush is... <laughs> there's another Bush. So... Um, Dole and and then uh, came McCain, uh, you know, and and people sometimes grimace when you talk about John McCain because he's a war hero and he certainly was, but um, as a as a presidential candidate, just another loser, and then Romney added his name to it, um, and he's been rattling his uh, rattling the cage a little bit the here lately. Mitt might, uh, Mitt might, <laughs> and uh, once again. And, and once again, we just travel down the road we've already been on of, of losing. Um, what about those who haven't yet run? Uh, well, I shouldn't say that uh, <laughs> because there are some uh, have run and are running again, like uh, Hillary. Ah, the other side of the fence. Yes, is uh, Hillary the, the the Benghazi person? Um, uh, and you know now she has a legitimate uh, excuse for her role or lack thereof in Benghazi. Really? Yes. A legitimate excuse? Yes, she was suffering uh, uh, from the serious long-term effects of a concussion. Oh. According to Karl Rove, she's suffering significantly enough that she shouldn't be considered <laughs> as presidential material. <laughs> Well, she would certainly be a repercussion, that's for that's sure. That's the truth. <laughs> I know. Oh, and what about her buddy, Joe? Oh, Joe. You know, Joe would be very entertaining. Unfortunately, uh, he's a scary He'd man. He'd be very incompetent. Yes, he uh, would. I, maybe we should say equally incompetent. <laughs> but I think Jon Stewart and uh, and all the Saturday Night Live would love it. I mean, a constant supply of buffoonery from the, <laughs> from the leader of the free world, and that's not funny. Let's move to the right side of the aisle again and talk about some names that are familiar to many of our viewers. Uh, Rubio... Paul, uh, Cruz, of course, Lee. Paul, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that's our side that's, of the aisle? That's Rand, not Ron. I understand that, but, uh, you know, this this darling thing, especially with the libertarians and Rand Paul, uh, give me a break. He just endorsed Susan Collins in Maine for, for, sen for, for senatorship. Susan uh, Collins. Now, that name sounds conservative enough. Uh, she is probably the most liberal Republican we have ever seen. You know, that brings up an interesting point, uh, Ed. Uh, Rand Paul has has uh, been a, a darling of conservatives. And so is he just position himself, pr positioning himself toward the middle, 
in preparation to run? The conventional wisdom has always been you got to run to the middle, otherwise you're going to lose. Well, we've run to the middle the last four times and lost. So I think that theory has been discredited, don't you? Well, Richard Nixon said that in the primary you run to the right and then in the general you run to the middle. But I agree with you that that's been uh, a formula that has been a formula for failure in at least the last several presidential elections. Well, there has been one success, Barack Obama, who did not run to the middle and energized his base and got reelected. Although his rhetoric was to the middle, in many ways. He was Mr. Hope and Change, isn't it well, wonderful? Middle class. Well, chameleon stuff. Well, that's true. Unfortunately, we don't know yet who's going to be the nominee, but guess what? What? You and I, mm -hmm. along with you watching, get to make the choice.